purpose of deployment diagram. In the previous video, we have discussed that in our component diagram, we are getting all the component lists and how these components are connected with each other and what are the different artifacts. In our deployment diagram, this deployment diagram we are discussing and we are telling that how these components will get deployed on the different devices and different processors and machines. So that is the main purpose of the deployment diagram. So let us go for the detailing about the purpose of the deployment diagram. So the term deployment itself describes the purpose of the diagram. The deployment diagrams are used for describing the hardware components where the software components will be deployed. And component diagrams and deployment diagrams are very much closely related. So in case of deployment diagram, we must be knowing that which are the components which will be deployed on which servers or machines. So component diagrams are used to describe the components and deployment diagram shows how they are getting deployed onto the different hardware. UML is mainly designed to focus on the software artifacts of a system. However, these two diagrams are special diagrams used to focus on the software and hardware components required for the implementation of the application. Most of the UML diagrams are used to handle logical components, but deployment diagrams are made to focus on the hardware topology, that is the connectivities and all of a system and deployment diagrams are used by the system engineers. The purpose of deployment diagrams can be described as visualize the hardware topology of a system. So that is one of the main purposes of the deployment diagram and describe the hardware components used to deploy the software components. So what are the different list of hardware components we require and not only the hardware components that interconnectivity also. That describe the runtime processing nodes. What are the different nodes? What are the different computers, servers which will be used for the runtime of this application? So in this way, we have discussed what is the different purposes of the deployment diagram. We shall be discussing more on the deployment diagram with a real life like case study. So please watch the next videos and those videos are in the continuation of this very video. Thanks for watching this.